Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99 back on the fight front once again. Um, time to get my uh, thoughts on this uh, Manny Pacquiao versus Adrian Broner fight last Saturday. Uh, here's some questions for you, uh, for myself, actually. Uh, was this a good fight? It was okay, you know. This fight was nothing spectacular. Um, it was definitely what I what I should have expected from a 40 year old Pacquiao, you know, who can still hang with the uh, hang with and beat the B and C level guys, but mostly with just his speed and aggression, you know. And uh, by that I mean just him staying busy and being able to stay in your face and, and um, kind of intimidate opponents with just what he used to could do, you know. Um, he doesn't have the same ferocity and power or the, or the same speed, of course, but he still has enough, like I said, to intimidate guys. And um, even though he's slower, he's still faster than most of these guys out here, you know, so he's still able to beat a lot of guys with just uh, his busy work, his work ethic and, you know, his, uh, just half of the power he used to have. Um, Adrian Broner, just like I thought, you know, th th this was just another fight for him just for the lights and the check. You know, he didn't perform to a level that he needed to. I don't know why we all expected that he would, just because this was a big fight, you know. Um, we had to judge it off the last few fights of his his last career, you know, because he's never really fought to a, a higher level, you know. He's been putting in he's been put in there with high level fights, but he never fights at a high level, man. Um again, you know, never throws enough punches, can't even um can't even look flashy at points, you know, had the ability to do more, but didn't could you know, still couldn't commit, which is nothing new with him, like I said, man. So it wasn't more, it wasn't even, uh, like I said, it wasn't even a letdown in this fight. Uh, his last three fights to me were letdowns because that was when I was giving him a chance, you know, because those were levels that he needed to prove that he was better on, you know what I mean? Like he needed to beat a Mikey Garcia. He needed to beat uh, uh, a B level was for he, like Jesse Vargas to prove that he deserved an A like Pacquiao, but. He couldn't even rise in those fights, so why do we really think he was going to rise to the occasion in this fight? So, Broner wasn't really coming to win, but he wasn't coming to get knocked out either. So, again, man, I always got to give a, give credit to that chin, but that's all I can give credit to. But my score for this fight, 10 rounds to 2 for Manny Pacquiao. Uh, 4 and 5 were probably the only rounds I could give Broner. Uh, 4 for sure, but 5, even then I'm kind of teetering between 11 rounds to 1. Um, I mean, from round one, Pacquiao, he just stayed busy. He pressed the action while Broner kept looking for openings that were there, but he couldn't pull the trigger on some of these good punches. You know what I mean? He just could not, on these good opportunities, he just would not pull the trigger on these good openings because there, there were times when he was touching Manny with his right hand because Manny was, uh, he wasn't doing anything too hard to figure out in this fight. You know what I mean? Like, there were times when Manny, his explosiveness was telegraphed where Manny was coming straight in, you know, not showing Broner any respect. He was going straight after him. So Broner had his moments where he could have landed the, the the right uppercut, like I said, my prediction more. You know, he landed it a few times, but there were times he could have really put some, you know, pop on it and, you know, probably could have dropped Manny. But like I said, if he would have committed, man, he could have got the results he wanted. But again, he was not trying to impress with skills. He was just trying to impress to stay in there or impress in whatever type of entertainment level way he wants to do man but as for Manny you know Manny at 40 he doesn't really have to do much to win now you know as far as like win the crowd over I mean because in this fight he landed some clean shots but there were times when he was landing like fast hands where it would just kind of kind of roar the crowd alive but he was still missing a lot too you know there was a lot of punches he was uh throwing in combinations and spurts but I give Broner credit because he did slip a lot of punches you know he didn't take a, a full onslaught like I thought he would, but he still got clips. He, he still got clipped too, but you know, he didn't take like three, four headshots at once. So I think, um, you know, Manny, Manny of old, of course, is better than the old Manny now. So, uh, but I, I'll definitely give busy work and aggression credit all day. So, you know, Manny, he still was taking rounds. Um, again, Manny was able to get away with a lot of misses, you know. But again, Broner, he he just had so many moments to counter, man. But I don't understand what his problem is, you know. And then that big moment in round seven came when Manny hit the, hit he hit him with that straight left hand. Um, I thought I thought Broner was out on his feet this time, you know. It, it almost looked scarier than Maidana, the Maidana situation, you know, when he was hurt a couple times in those fights. I didn't really think he was gonna you know come back with anything here. I thought he was about to finally just give up, or the referee was gonna step in. And and then in round eight, you know. Uh, 
he was nearly knocked across the ring by another left hand uh, from, from Pacquiao. He hit him with that left. He about went across to the other side of the ring. And um, then, you know, a couple times, you know, Broner just kept looking at the clock, you know, just look like he was trying to run the clock out. So uh, I just I just don't understand, man. I just didn't really understand what he wanted in this fight, uh, you know, as far as uh, what he was trying to prove, you know, get the check and that's it. You know, I mean, but that, that kind of makes you look a certain way, you know. So uh, leads into my next question, man. Um, so does Broner have a solid argument that he won this fight? Not at all. <laughs> you know, not at all. I, I think this was just his way. I think really this was just his way of uh, playing up to the crowd. Um, you know, I think he sees boxing now as kind of like a WWE thing. You know, he thinks it's kind of like a script in his mind and that he's like this movie star. So when it comes to wrestling... You know, he kind of walks this line of boxing and wrestling is the same. So he doesn't mind playing the heel. You know, there's no part of this fight, you know, that there, there, there was really never a part in this fight where he had it in the bag. There were no close rounds. There was no back and forth action. There was no, you know, rocking of Manny. He never rocked Manny. So it was just something um, I felt he, he just had to play up to because he reacted the way he did whenever Jim Gray came over and talked to him just because he wanted to pull in views somehow. He knew that he didn't win the fight, so I got to pull in more views. I got to make people look at me some way, you know, whether they li like they love me or hate me. I just got to make people look at me in some way so I can keep my hustle going. You know, I can keep my hustle going strong. That's what that was all about, man. I mean, other than that, uh, he, deep down he knows he didn't win the fight because he didn't do anything. He didn't do enough of anything to win a, win a damn round, so... You know, it is what it is. <laughs> but um, as for Manny, what's next for Manny? Uh, well, the latest I heard with Manny is that, you know, he suffered a scratched retina, man. And, um, you know, some people say it was more damage and that he might have to retire. You know, that sounds more like a rumor, though, that there was a lot of damage. And he might have to retire. But I hope it's just the, the latter. You know, I hope he just has a scratched retina. But even if it is, you know, I hope he starts to rethink boxing now, you know. So, you know, uh. Scratch retinas, you know, this is uh, one of the one of the many injuries in boxing that a fighter can suffer from. But, you know, this is this is this ain't this ain't the worst, you know, so this might just be a little sign or a wake up call to make Manny rethink, you know, returning to the ring. You know, after watching this fight, I think this was just a good paycheck for Manny and good entertainment level of fight for Manny. But I don't really want to see him come back to the ring, you know, if he scratches retina, you know, even if uh, he's able to get surgery to repair it. I don't even want to see him return. You know, we've seen guys like Julian Jackson and uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, of course. They, you know, they have their retinas damaged and, you know, have the surgery and they come back. But they're never the same, you know, they're never the same fighter. So Manny had probably his last hurrah as like a big level fight with this one. If that's how it has to go out, then so be it. You know, there's really no need to try to to, to suffer your eyesight or brain you know, for another fight, you know, and um, especially after this performance, you know, like I said, uh, he was good enough to handle B and C level guys, but just think about what the hard hitters and the real committers could do to him, you know, and those guys are like Bud, Spence, and Thurman, you know, those are guys who are definitely going to come to fight. They're not going to come to lay down. They're guys that are looking for the big check and that big exposure, but they're also looking for the win, you know, so they're guys who are going to figure out his speed and take advantage of those mistakes he was making in this fight. So, you know, like I said, Manny, he was making plenty of mistakes in this fight. Uh, his age def his age definitely showed, especially with his legs. You know, his legs were really starting to show signs of that misstep and off balance, you know, that fighters get when they get older. You know, he kept trying to commit to some high speed, you know, risky, you know, combinations in there. But sometimes his legs would look a little bit off. So, you know, those are those little moments where he could miss a shot. And somebody like Bud or somebody like Keith Thurman, you know, they hit him with that big shot. And, you know, they just time him right and knock him out, man. So, Manny, yeah, he he really needs to rethink this, uh, this uh, you know, comeback against the elite, especially after this fight, man. So, it didn't have to be a big beating. You have to suffer sometime when you see a fighter lose a step, you know. You know, sometimes you don't have to face a loss or get knocked down in the fight to say you don't have it anymore. Sometimes it's good to have you know, little signs like this show. I mean, I don't I don't want to see him get a scratch retina, but I mean, like, as far as just, like, him missing a lot in this fight, you know, he had little moments where he looked like Manny just because, of the, you know, the opponent that Broner is. But like I said, man, Broner ain't really a committer. 
you know, when you get in there with Thurman and Spence and these guys, these guys commit. So, you know, you got to be careful, man. But, um, yeah, overall, man, like I said, just a good little show, you know, just to see, you know, Broner go in there and get his ass whooped again, man. But uh, I don't know, man. Uh, Manny is also, man, this, this fight, like I said, was a, a wild card fight. So it definitely shows you that neither one of these guys really should be in there with, you know, the elite guys at welterweight right now. But, um, yeah, man, let me know what you guys think of this fight. Did Broner win to y'all? <laughs> Uh, make sure y'all subscribe, Combo Breaker 99. Also, subscribe to the Jab Effect uh, YouTube channel. I'm out. Peace.